Welcome to Northwest Profiles, a look at people, places, and events of interest in the Inland Northwest. If you didn't know any better, you might think you were watching a scene from an old home movie. However, in the world of television, just by adding a few colors here and there and cleaning up the picture a bit, one can change reality in a real hurry. And of course, in this case, reality is indeed modern day. Yet despite its updated look, clearly the centerpiece of this scene still remains far from modern. And rightly so, because this handsomely crafted piece of mahogany furniture isn't something new or reproduction, but an authentic 1915 Sonora phonograph. In its day, it was a highly sophisticated modern luxury. Now it stands and functions as a rare but graceful reminder of generations past. My grandfather was a, had the first phonograph that I ever, ever saw. And uh, then my brother had one. And uh, I remember those old songs and uh, those memories kind of stayed with me. The owner of this charming piece of history is Roy Watson, a Spokane man who has found pleasure after retirement in not only collecting but restoring old phonographs. I used to hunt and fish, but the hills got a little taller and I got a little older and, and uh, a fellow has to have something to, to occupy his time, uh, something of interest. And I was at a yard sale and I, and I saw a phonograph. And I got to thinking about the days when I was a small boy and we had a phonograph and it just kind of snowballed. I started building up an interest. This is the phonograph Roy Watson credits as the one that sparked his desire to start collecting. It's a 1925 inside horn Victrola Consolette, the first of many antique phonographs Roy has collected and restored since 1989. I look for any and everybody that'll give me any information. Sometimes uh, people, that they don't have any of their self, but they know somebody that does have, or some friend, and uh, I like them in good ridge original condition if possible, but, but uh, sometimes I'm not particular if it's a machine that's interesting. But uh, I prefer the crank, the crank phonographs, really. They look old. They, they, they don't look as modern as the uprights or the table models or the consoles. Uh, the, I suppose it's a primitive effect is, is mostly why that I, I like them. At present, Roy's fascinating collection nearly fills his entire basement. Most are the type Roy prefers, crank phonographs, or in other words, phonographs that are driven by heavy springs that have to be wound by hand. Some play these rather odd-looking cylinder records, while others play the more conventional disc records. Originally, they were uh, uh, cylinder wax records, and uh, they weren't too good. Then they came out with a a celluloid coating on a cylinder record. And that was tougher and, and it held up better and, and it got better sound. And, uh, and then they came out with a regular 78 record. The cylinder record is a Hill and Dale uh, vertical cut record. And the needle goes up and down. And the 78 record is lateral cut and the needle goes from side to side. And so you have to have a needle and a reproducer that, that will play the different records. They, they're not interchangeable. From Edison to Columbia, Victrola to Sonora, from outside horns to inside horns and uprights to table models, Roy's engaging phonograph collection features an interesting assortment of makes and models. And while each is special in its own way, Roy, like any collector, has his favorites. I was at a yard sale and I talked to a fellow that knew a fellow that had this, this Triumph uh, Edison phonograph. And it also has a, a record cabinet that holds 96 records and there's cylinder and it plays two and four minute. Uh, it was in pretty good condition, however, I had to refinish it, the outside. And uh, it plays, plays quite well and I have a signet uh, oak horn on it, which is one of the better horns. This machine is a Columbia Graffinola. It's a little more of a deluxe model than some. This regulates the speed here, that lever. 
and this turns the machine on. Volume control is controlled by the louver doors in front. The records are numbered. You push a button and your record comes out. So if you can get a hold of it to bring it out and put it on the machine. But this machine was uh, its original finish. It's in excellent condition. Plays good. This is an upright Sonora phonograph, a bubble design. It plays regular 78 records. It had quite a little work to be done to it when I received it. Uh, I worked on this grill as two parts of it was gone and uh, I happened to run across another one in pieces and I was able to get a pattern so I could restore this one and uh, it turned out pretty well. In comparison to other phonograph collections around the area, the Watson collection is relatively small. However, in this case, less is more because this unique collection offers more than just old-fashioned phonographs, but also the restoration handiwork of their owner. I like them to work so that I can play them once in a while and see how they're doing. And if I got them on display, I don't want to have something on display that's a, that's a dog. I want something that will, that will uh, operate and, and perform. Clearly for Roy, it's not enough for his antique phonographs just to look good. And that is why his meticulous restoration process begins with mechanical repairs. Sometimes the, if a spring hasn't been cleaned, the power spring, it, it won't operate smooth. And so you have to take it out and, and clean it. And uh, quite often the spring is broken. And you can get almost all the springs from parts places. You have to be careful putting them in that they don't get away and trim your ears. And then the adjustments on the rest of the, of the motor. If there's any parts that's wore too bad, you try to install those too. Then I start refinishing after I see that it's mechanically going to work all right. One of the more difficult restoration projects Roy has ever attempted involved this highly collectible turn-of-the-century phonograph. This is a Victor Model D phonograph with a Morning Glory horn, it's oak, the horn's oak, and uh, it was in terrible condition. Uh, the, it was about half unglued, and it was, some of the boards were warped, and uh, it had to be taken clear apart and sanded and re-glued and put back together. It was an ordeal, and uh, it turned out to be an exceptional, nice phonograph. I'll say, in terms of its dollar value, this ornate Victor Model D, worth $55 new in 1903, is now worth over $3,000. But in terms of its real value to Roy, it's priceless, because its value to this collector has nothing to do with money. I don't want to sell. I, I, didn't, I didn't buy them to make money or to, for profit. I, I got them for the interest, and because I just, just build up an interest in them and, and like to fix them and work on them and hear them play. And, and I hope so to find a record that I don't have uh, from long ago when uh, some of my mother used to sing to me when I was sit on her lap. I can still remember some of those songs. And now, thanks to Roy Watson, so can we. If you have a topic for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSPS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSPS Public Television.